Hello everyone and welcome to another video. My name is Francesco and what I do in these videos is help educate you about productivity tools and resources to help you move forward with your productivity. So in this episode, what I'm going to be doing is briefly showing you a new feature inside of Slack. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to show you the new reminders feature on Slack. So as you can see, I'm in a conversation here with Paul, uh, Paul Miners. Um, his blog is paulminers.com. Um, he also writes about productivity. So I just want to thank Paul for letting me use um, him in this quick video to show about how to use Slack. Essentially, what you can do is um, if you use the slash button, you can type in remind. And then uh, you can actually set a reminder for yourself. You can set a reminder for someone else or even for a specific channel. So let me just remind Paul. So what I'll do is I'll press at Paul, uh, select Paul. Uh, remind Paul tomorrow uh, at uh, 10 a.m. to go to Francesco's YouTube channel. And when I type this in, what it's going to do is it's actually going to prompt Paul at 9 p.m. New Zealand time. Apparently, that's what it is, 10 a.m. tomorrow, British summer time, uh, GMT, to go over to my YouTube channel. He'll get the message, go over, to my, go over to Francesco's YouTube channel via his Slack bot. And Slack bot's this direct message tool over here. You can set up a multitude of other reminders. So here is my Slack bot. I set a reminder, I will drink tea at 8.45 every day. And what I can do here is I can actually either cancel it or view any existing ones. I can actually see a recurring, so you can actually see your recurring ones. You can actually set recurring ones. Some examples are, remind me to drink tea water at 3 p.m. every day. Remind me on June the 1st, wish Linda happy birthday. You can also remind channels, as I mentioned. So slash remind hashtag team alpha. So I could do hashtag team editorial um, to update the project status every Monday at 9 a.m. So that could be a great way for your team to kind of coordinate uh, yourself. So you could, you know, hat slash reminder hashtag general, which is the, the general uh, Slack community. Just say, you know, um, make sure to share your weekly updates at Monday at 10 a.m. I'm not sure. Uh, whatever it is, it could be specific for your team. And as I, as I mentioned, what you can do is you can click that view existing reminders. Down here, you can see all of your reminders for others. But there is an actual feature that if I were to go remind, I'm all for spelling, remind list, and I just type that in, uh, what it can do is it will bring up all of those at any given time. So if you don't want to, if you're struggling to find that view existing t reminders there, then you can find everything there. You can also cancel one, as I mentioned there, but you can also delete ones down here. And you can dismiss that Slack bot, uh, which means it will go away from the specific feed. So what I think this is very useful is you could have a multitude, you could spend a day Actually, you can spend an hour coordinating all of your reminders based around all of the team activities, your activities, and also others' activities. And as you can see here, I just try to wade out that storm there. Slack bot has messaged me. Um, you asked me to remind you to drink tea. Um, and you can actually snooze that for a certain period of time, which is great. So I'm going to snooze that for an hour or tomorrow or 15 minutes. And that's a great way to interact with that activity. Um, that reminder. Um, and as well as that, uh, let's say I'm on Paul's. Let's say I'm scared that Paul is going to see all of this activity. Again, Slack bot just indicates only you can see this message. So that's really, really useful. Anyway, guys, that's just a little dabble into what the new Slack bot uh, reminder feature can do. Obviously, Slack bot's getting smarter. Um, you can do a hideous amount of stuff with Slack bot these days. But that is, I think, one of the most personal productivity things you can do with it and something that is actually going to be really interesting. I mean, I was on um, Reddit's AMA with Todoist's co-founder, Amir, and he mentioned um, that the use of being able to embed Todoist with Slack would be very powerful. And obviously, obviously I've read a lot of Medium blogs that suggest very similar, but with a lot of other applications. Um, and actually, some of them made some bold statements like 
you will only use Slack in the future to work. And that's incredible, but very powerful in the same way. Anyway, guys, that's just a quick intro to Slack's new reminder feature. I'll keep an eye on this one. It looks like it's going to get a bit more advanced. This is very simplistic at the moment, but looking forward to it. I'm just a little shout out. I reckon they should just add a little box around this and it kind of gets here. You kind of get a bit text eye dead here. Uh, but anyway, just a suggestion. Anyway, guys, thank you very much. Make sure you have a great week. Keep productive. And I'll see you guys very, very, very soon. Cheers.